Good morning. It's the uh, 2nd of January today. I hope everybody had a nice new year. And wow. I always miss them things on the camera. The stags just ran across the road there. It was really magnificent. Never mind. I'm currently busy walking along the Burness side of the Kielder Forest Drive. Um, today I'm going to try and bag wool meat, which is considered one of the most difficult Jewies in Northumberland to bag. It's a 16 mile round trip for me because the forest drive is closed, so I haven't to walk it. <laughs> but um, I'm running about an hour late, so that's not helping. But as long as I get back onto the forest drive before nightfall, I'll be all right. I've got a torch and spare batteries and I'll be fine. But it's uh, rough going, so it's going to be a difficult one. Hope you got out of the camera. That was a stoat. Finally, I'm leaving the A68. That was a lot further than I thought. I think it's probably closer to two miles from one. At the moment I'm crossing Cat Clough Reservoir. I could have just walked up the forest drive and backed it from there, but I want to see Chattel Hope Spout, which is supposedly Northumberland's highest waterfall. <sighs> it's hard going. <laughs> Look at that. It's all bog. Plus, out across the stream, that wasn't easy either. There's a forest road just the other side of that deer fence. There's no way to cross the deer fence. So we're gonna to have to do it the hard way. All bog. I'll show you how to cross a bog. These, this grass here, you fold it over like that and stand on it. It acts as a platform crossing the bog, like that. And that's how you cross a bog. It's hard going, man. So this is the first of the sheep folds. So I know I'm on the right path. Should be another one up there. I can hear a lot of forest. I can hear a lot of forestry vehicles on the on the road. Yeah, there's a wagon. I can hear another one coming down as well. Okay, yeah, this is hopeful. This is one of the Chattel Hope Spout Trail. Markers, I thought they might have all gone. See, there's chattel hood spouts there. And I want to go to the girdle stones as well. The destination is over here somewhere. But here's like a car park picnic area. I wonder how you get to there. I mean, obviously, that wagon, what we've seen, but the only road I can see is by the farm, and I couldn't see any road from the farm. There must be another road somewhere. There's a second sheepfold there. There's one more. So I'm on the right path. It's really annoying because there's a forest road just there but it's protected by a deer fence. Okay, the paths took me onto the forestry road in any case. So this looks like a new bit of road. It's, uh, it's not on my map, this bit. But uh, I have to leave it in any case. My heading 
Hope that's Valley there. There's the last sheep fold. So I know I'm on track. We're in the woods at the moment. And someone's been here with a, a quad bike maybe. There's footprints on this trail at the moment now. Up to up to the forest road there wasn't any footprints, but now there is. So going up there. Oh, it's hard going. It's getting steep now like. Those tracks weren't quad bike tracks, they were uh, motocross, single motorbike. Because um, it went off in all different directions. Can you get there? You never get the steepness on a camera. It's quite steep. This is hard going. <laughs> Ah, lovely views. Sadly, you not get them all. I mean, right on the horizon, probably won't get it on my camera. I can see the Cheviot. I can see the Shale. See Hedgehope. That one there will be caught a fell. We've already done that one. This here is the girdle stone. It's a natural overhang. Shelter. Considerable size actually. It's huge. It's like a little cave. <laughs> Being a natural shelter, the girdle stone is the most likely place for a border reaver tail. It was most likely on this site that Bertie Milbird and Corbett Jack of Tarset Valley fought the Scots Sandy and Bonnie Douglas over some reeved sheep. Bertie was stabbed in the thigh, but the Scot that did it lost his blade in the action. Meanwhile, the other Scot, having killed Corbett Jack, tried to stab Bertie in the back. Barty lashed out with his blade in a wide arc and cut the Scot's head clean off. Before the other Douglas could flee, he cut him down too. Then with a wounded leg, he carried Corbett Jack home along with the sheep that he had just reaved. If you're interested in border tales, check out Mark Nichols' channel. Gives a Scottish point of view, but uh, he's done some good stories. I'll put a link below, it's worth checking out. This is very hard going, it's very boggy. Looks like there's a wild goat over there. Walk towards it will move. Yeah, there's two wild goats. Interesting. Get that. There they go. This Chattel Hope Spout, I'll probably not get it on my camera, it starts up there. I think if it's in full flood, it'll just go all the way down. But at the moment, it's got like a step there comes along here, another step down there, and you got a third step down there. It's not a full flood though. I don't know how I'm going to get a better view. Channel Hope Spout. 
Apparently Northumberland's highest waterfall, although I think it needs to be a full flood in order to be the highest waterfall. Still, it's quite high. Chattel Hope Spout. There's a couple of smaller ones down there, smaller waterfalls. I mean, that's about as close as I'm going to get. I'm going to have to try and climb back out of this gorge now and back the hill that I came for. Still very cool. Another named waterfall in Northumberland. Despite the sign, there is no puffs here. Just lots and lots of heather, knee high. This ever bashing is really hard going. I'm going to back up the fence. I'm going to follow this fence all the way up to the top. And when it makes a sharp turn, that's near the summit. I think that one over there is Peel Fell. I know of our dead waterfalls just behind this rise. Can't see it at the moment, but I could see it from the girdle store. Really nice. I think the girdle stone is just over there. But I went down through all the bog through the trees to see the waterfall and then I've like come back uphill through all this heather rather than go back through the bog. You see the Cheevy on the horizon there and the shale. Uh, I'm knackered. <laughs> That's what I'm working through. Stuff like that in between the heather and the sphagnum moss. When you get to the corner of the fence here, uh, it's quite close to the summit, but this isn't the summit. The summit's just over there a little bit. So let's go and bag the summit properly. It's an indiscriminate top, so there's no proper marker. Well, Meath, everybody, one of the Jews of Northumberland, quite possibly the most difficult one to bag, <laughs> if you do it the way I did it, any case. Lovely views. That one over there is dead water fell. Over there, you can see the radar station on it. The one next to it, you can see that one, it's Peel Fell. Over there is Carter Bar. Not the Chivy over there, you might have seen it on my camera. It doesn't come much more desolate than this place, but it's beautiful. So back up the fence. Now we need to head in that direction and pick up the forest road. Let's see. Now a lot of people park their car down here on the forest road at Blake Up Nick and then they walk straight line across to Wolmeath. And they get a lot of trouble because you've got all of these streams and peat hags and bog to cross in order to get there. So instead of doing that, because that's where everyone gets in trouble and that's why you get really bad walkers reports. I'm going to continue following the fence along to Woolmeath Edge and then I'm going to use a compass to follow the water shed along this line here is the watershed to the forest road. So it's, a, it's an extra bit of a journey but it means I don't have to try and get through all of these uh, bogs, all these peat hags here. 
So if I were in a straight line, I would have lots of these to cross. But by coming the way I've chosen, that should be the only one I have to do. Okay, so this is the Curric that's marked on the map. Which means that edge there is Wormley Fedge, which will take me back to the Forest Drive and back to the car, which will be over there somewhere. So I'll cross over onto the edge, take a compass bearing, and then follow the compass. Okay, this might be easier than go through peat hikes, but it's still really hard going. It's a uh, fire high heather. I'm heading in that direction somewhere, basically into the sun. I finally made it to the fence. Big little nick's just over there. Uh, my legs are like jelly walking through that. Uh, in hindsight, if you're doing this, I will park, park close at the cat cloth reservoir and then go by the girdle stone like I did, follow the fence, back the summit and just go back the same way because this is hell, <laughs> it really is hard work, my legs are jelly, I'm going to feel this tomorrow, definitely, in any case let's get the Blake Lord Nick, it looks very interesting. Blake Hope Nick. Absolute silence. I'm tempted to wait here and watch the sunset. I've still got a while to go. It's amazing the sunset tonight over there. As tempting as it is to wait here for the sunset, I'm going to have to make tracks. I need to try and get back before it gets dark. Finally back at the car, it's just starting to get dark now, so good job I left when I did. <laughs> if you liked the video give me a thumbs up and uh, comment below, hit the subscribe button for the next adventure, share with your friends on social media and catch you on the next one. <laughs>